from someplace over Tel Aviv, Israel. This is a Space Dog Radio Show. I'm Space Dog. Thanks for tuning in. Space Dog Radio is your remote location radio station. Come to you 24-7 around planet Earth and throughout the universe from SpaceDogRadio.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Twitter at Space Dog Radio. Shouts out to our business partners, Rainy Days Coffee, serving up great coffee and sarcasm in Lake Stevens, Washington. Recently had a picture of Lake Stevens, Washington out there on Twitter, so thanks for that. In the speakeasy, Portland, Oregon, no better way to speak than to speak easy. The Twilight Bar and Cafe, Portland, Oregon, don't mind the light, mind the twilight. Rick's Roadhouse, Rockway Beach, Oregon, Rockway Beach's Rockin' Place, and the Big Smoke, Ormond Beach, Florida, your location for premier cigars and accessories on the Space Coast. Also, shouts out to our long-term listeners from Muckatil to Melbourne. Conrad to Kiev, Toronto to Tajikawa. There's way too many to mention, but thanks for a lot for all your support. We do appreciate it. Today we welcome back a featured artist who has been heard on Space Dog Radio many times before. Several years ago, she released her 12th album, Songs Naked, The Lost Songs. She's directed films, written many articles, recently published her first novel, Rage Against the Eclipse, and is about to release her new album by the same name. Hadara, Lamina Reddy, thank you again for being on Space Dog Radio. Hey, hey. It's very good to be here again, too. This is starting to feel like my home base in America. Oh, you know, we love having you fly along with Space Dog Radio. So, you know, the one thing I notice about... uh, not only your past music, but your new music from the new album Rage Against the Eclipse. Um, are the lyrics? The lyrics are so clever and thoughtful. Uh, sometimes deeply sad, and also sometimes very playful. Here's a bit of one of my favorites from the new album. The song is "Love's Not the Answer." Last night lights out, couldn't write a word down Calling you to dance with, dressing up explosive Looking for the cool stuff, hoping just a little Thinking I was real nice Touching up with real tough, facing up the real hard Not enough but alright, magic up for true love Too much headaches tired off, hard as we come crying out I wish there was another way out Wish that I could find it for you Mama promised better days There's so much to hang on to She said, look at me, I'm falling free Where all my dreams won't let me If I could only hold you closer to me Tell us a bit about what you were thinking when you wrote that Oh, I love this song too, but but you know, it's becoming curiously difficult for me to track back the road to my songs and the pieces of inspiration that bring them about. It might be because I'm accumulating too many songs in too many years that they change my perception and perspective on things and mess up with my memory. And I noticed too that good songs have a tendency to adjust and flexibly apply themselves to various different situations in life and many different people over many different years. This particular song was written about three years ago and I recorded it just now. And as I'm listening to it now, it takes on a brand new and currently relevant meaning for me. Um, So I really can't recall what had me going when I wrote it. But I do recognize myself in it. I do recognize my themes, my, my basic personality, uh, my, uh, the things that move me or angrify me. And so in this sense, it's, it's def- definitely rooted in my life. Um, but I, I can't tell what exactly, what exactly made me sit and write this song. I notice you're doing a lot of unique promotions for your new album um, on a very personal and independent fashion for your listeners. It seems like you're uh, being very down to earth, very, uh, very fresh in your method. 
playing at personal parties, at social events, da 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 da. Uh, could you comment on that? Well, this is a new era for the music industry that has been in constant change the past 15 years or so. And I think that all musicians are still trying to fathom the changes and find their ways into the world. Um, with all the endless opportunities the social media offer and the digital shrinkage of the global world in general, you have the world flooded with music and opportunities, which is great on the one hand, but it also makes it harder to stick out. This is the heartbeat of today. This is the tools and the language of today, uh, this personal contact. And, and I love it, and I'm trying to make the best of it. But I think it's really one of the... Um, one of the sounds, you know, of today, this personal contact and uh, those those personal and creative ways of um, spreading your music. This is this is really the name of the day. Hedera Levine already can be found on her main website, hederalevine.com. Also on Facebook, YouTube, uh, we follow her on Twitter. Hedera Music. Uh, I'll put links on spacetalkradio.com, of course. Look for her new album, Rage Against the Eclipse, out soon. Hedera, we're going to send it out with one more song, but first, is there anything you would like to say to the rest of the world? Yeah, I want to say something about this new album. Um, I'm extremely aware that in some ways the days of albums are gone. And indeed, I have released over the years many singles completely detached from any album, saying to myself that there's no point in making whole albums anymore. But once in a while, or really once a year as it happened, I find myself wrapped in the deep of yet another album. And for me to call it an album, it has to have a uniquely unifying concept. And if you go through my albums, you'd see that every album is a totally different venture, not only in terms of the songs themselves, but in terms of the whole production experience. Like Songs Naked, for example, was a double album of lost songs that I saved from old, cool rehearsals that belonged to a totally different um, musical era of mine. And before that, I had released an EP called Who's Gonna Stop You Now, which was my personal call for freedom as I was just finishing my contract with my old record label. Now, this new album, Rage Against the Eclipse, um, is an album that is hosting different producers of extremely different styles. Like, instead of hosting um, other singers uh, featuring artists, I host producers. And what I do is I just lay down my songs and disappear, leaving the songs in their hands, waiting to be surprised with the outcome. And I want to use this opportunity to name names and give it to the various producers. Um, the song Mama Blues was produced by Tamal Eisenman, and Love Is Not The Answer and Is It Too Much was produced by Omel Moore. And I want to... Th- thank those guys for for working with me they've they've done great jobs the last song for this show we're going to play is called is it too late we know it's not too late for the amazing hedara levine already i looked at you strong i knew you were wrong but i wanted you bad i knew you were mad your eyes they were sad they were looking at me Is it too late? Is it too bad? Is it too much for this kind of touch? You're tripping me out. I know you were right. I'm losing my
closer to you If through you they're all getting to you This time Is it too late? Is it too late? Is it too late? There is one of her newest songs, Is It Too Late, from her latest album, Rage Against the Eclipse. She also has a book out by the same name. From someplace over Tel Aviv, Israel, this has been the Space Dog Radio Show with our featured artist, Hadera Levine Aredi. I am the Space Dog. Thank you for listening. Be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you next orbit. Is it too late? Is it too late? Is it too bad? Is it too much for this kind of touch? You're tripping me out. I know you were right. I'm losing my mind. Is it too late? Is it too bad? Is it too much for this kind of touch? You're tripping me out. I know you were right. I'm losing. I'm over you, I'm over